what is going on guys uh, welcome back to the channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's jump into this video today uh, I received an email about the new DriveWise system that US Express has implemented implemented which eliminates the pre-pass on our trucks this includes lease purchase trucks and contractors uh, so it's not only for company drivers the drive drive wise system is now the new pre-pass system for your truck eliminating the pre-pass uh, that you stick to your windshield so when you go to a terminal you might have to turn it back in but today we're going to talk about personal conveyance and the drive wise system so let's jump into the personal conveyance here You guys can read over this, pause the video and read it if you'd like. I'm just going to scroll through it so you can see it. Some of the main points, you are allowed 50 miles of personal conveyance per day. Any exception must be approved with, a, with such approval appropriately documented. You can be loaded or unloaded while using personal conveyance. The truck does not need to be unhitched from the trailer. Or pulling an empty trailer in order for personal conveyance to be used. You do not need to return to your last on-duty location following your personal conveyance move. Use of personal conveyance must follow the FCMC guideline. Blah blah blah. One of the following reason codes must be entered for the driver tech when you select personal conveyance. So these are the reasons, or uh, the duties, the reasons you would get for changing your duty status to personal conveyance would be moving after loading or unloading say if you're at a shipper and you're out of hours and they're loading you you run out of hours while they're loading you you can go to personal conveyance and use it to get over to a truck stop or somewhere to park commute to or from home so if you're a, a dedicated driver or you're a local driver a lot of dedicated drivers say on the target account if you live close to the target account main location which I do I live about 30 minutes away from the target target account here in Madison Alabama so when I was on the account I could come home every night and I could drive my truck home but I still had to use my driving clock to get home I no longer would have to do that you can just go to personal conveyance to get home after your shift is over a personal errand while off duty say you're at a terminal waiting to go into the shop you need to go get some food from Walmart or go to McDonald's just anywhere you need to go to do what you need to do you can use personal conveyance to do that law enforcement request uh so you're parked on a shoulder of an interstate or the off-ramp or on-ramp of an interstate next to a no parking sign officer pulls up ask you to move uh, you tell him you can't because you're out of hours he's gonna tell you to move anyways to keep yourself from going into violation use personal conveyance okay just a bunch of stuff in here you can read through guys pause the video read through it if you'd like this is telling you what you cannot do under personal conveyance and yeah so there's personal conveyance in a nutshell you guys like I said read through that pause the video and read through it how do you swap over to personal conveyance it's very easy guys you're on your main menu here uh, let's just go back to the main menu so I can walk you through the whole steps so you got the home screen XP truck you come over here to hours of service click on the hours of service over here where it says driving mode normal click on it personal use click on it it's going to ask you personal use requirements unladen traveling between home terminal home and terminal or short distance between in route lodging truck stop motel etc and another location you can't position yourself closer to your next dispatch do you satisfy do you satisfy the above requirements you would tap yes add a remark you would enter the reason you're using your personal conveyance uh, let's just go ahead and do it because I'm not going to use it uh, let's just say add remark 
training. Okay, so now you can see my hours of service has went from green to blue and a P is beside it, letting me know that I am in personal conveyance. And now I can drive for up to 50. I can drive as long as I want to under this personal conveyance, but US Express only allows 50 miles. So after that 50 miles, I'm not sure what would happen. Either logs would get a notification that you went over the 50 miles and they would go back and edit your drive time to show you as on duty driving after your 50 miles is up. I'm pretty sure that's what would happen, but I'm not positive. Now, if you're in the sleeper berth, when you go to personal conveyance, it's going to automatically throw you to on or off duty. When you stop, it's going to keep you off duty. I've had it mess up on me a few times when I stopped, it threw me on duty, even though I was on personal conveyance while I was driving. So I come to a traffic jam on the middle of an interstate and the clock automatically swapped over from driving to on duty and started eating away at my clock. That does happen. If that does happen, contact logs and they can repair it for you. So that is personal conveyance, guys. In a nutshell, to exit personal conveyance, simply tap on driving mode, go back to normal. And now it's normal. I'm green again, and I will be using away my clock. Okay, let's escape that. Go back to the main menu. As you can see, we have a new menu here on the main screen. Drive-wise, pre-clear. This is the new pre-pass for way stations. Uh, let's click on it. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really do anything. It tells you everything that's on, like the most recent instruction, previous instruction, and status. Heads up alerts are on. It's going to alert me with, within one mile of a way station. It's going to tell me I'm approaching a way station. Uh, bypass service is on. This is basically pre-pass. So if uh, I haven't actually used this yet, so I don't know exactly what it does because it was just now activated, but when it, I, I'm assuming when I approach a way station, a message is going to pop up on my screen, screen or an alert is going to pop up letting me know that I'm approaching a way station. And I'm not sure if it tells me to pass or if I'm, I'm not sure what happens after when you're approaching a way station. I'm really not. Uh, of course, the pre-passes, as you can see here, it lights up green. As you can see at the top there, it lights up green or red to let me know if I'm going to pass. That is no longer good. It is deactivated. So if you're a company driver or a lease driver, your pre-pass has been deactivated. It needs to be turned back into a terminal or a location with US Express because it is no longer good and you do not want to keep paying for it. So make sure you turn it back in. But we have the new DriveWise pre-clear system in effect. So I'm hoping a message pops up and says pass or enter, something of that nature whenever I approach a way station. <clears throat> I'm not sure how it's going to work out. I will let you guys know once I do actually get to see it in action. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this email they sent me about the DriveWise system. Here it is, US Express. New way station management system management system on driver tech now. Good news, you now have access to new way station management system called DriveWise Pre Clear. Mm -hmm. You guys can read through this, pause the video like before, and read through all this if you want. When you're two miles from a drive was participating way station you'll hear an audible sound coming from your driver tech and you'll also see a blue light on your driver tech and a banner telling you that a way station is two miles ahead i wonder where the blue light will show up at okay so like earlier when i was showing you the driver tech i said one mile away so two miles away is going to give you a heads up notification and a blue light i'm not sure where the blue light is going to be at when you're one mile away. Okay, so it's gonna send me another notification. So one at two miles and one at one mile. 
You'll then see one of the three messages, bypass the station or pull in unless closed or follow road signs. So it's going to give you a message saying bypass the station, letting you know you can go past it, pull in unless closed. So if it says enter or pull into the station and there's a sign on the road saying it's closed, all trucks bypass, don't pull in obviously, common sense. Even if a site isn't a participating drive-wise site, you'll still get a heads up notification that the way station is coming up at two miles away and again at one mile away. All GPSs do this, so basically it's doing what my GPS does. Unlocker prior vendor drive-wise also recognizes many mobile inspection sites and will send the same alerts as it would. Okay, so there's a inspection sites set up along the interstates that are not actual way stations they're more of a rest area and a lot of times you will not know if they're open or closed or even know they're coming up so this is a good feature here letting me know that the inspection stations will be open or closed and when i'm approaching one so i do like that that is something new if you're pulled over in the event that you were ever requested by a DLT officer by passing the way station you can Okay, so as we've seen in the video earlier, uh, under I'm, I'm assuming under history and previous instructions, the previous instructions is going to show whether it told you to pull in or to bypass. So you can tap on the DriveWise app like we did earlier in the video. And under previous instructions, it's going to say if it what it told you to do. The activation of drive wires will take all day to roll out to every driver tech unit, so as long as your unit. Okay, so as of November 5th, it is officially activated. Turn your driver tech off and back on if you're experiencing technical difficulty. All right, guys, well, that is the DriveWise system, the new system we're using instead of prepass 